I think last we were doing some gun manor stuff, so let's go back to gun manor. Sorry, I'm a bit late today. Um, or, I mean, I already streamed earlier, but I said I was going to be streaming at 5, but now it's 5.22. But you know what? That's fine. <laughs> We already did all the hedge maze stuff, I think. Yeah. There's the foyer. Foyer. Hello. Hi! Hi, one you last. Oops. Be back in Osta Loving. I'm in the booze. Did we ever make the chili? Alright. This dude wants chili with no guns in it. <laughs> it's a ghost. Spooky, spooky ghost. Can we use the chili stove? Okay. You need a bowl of chili to give to that ghost in the dining room, and this stove seems relevant to that need. According to the dictionary, you need some spices, some beans, and a gun. Wait, you're trying to make chili without a gun in it, so you have to remember to skip the gun part. Okay, keep it together. Spices. Yeah, you've got that under control. I grab a chili pot and turn, put it put in on a burner. I shake a heaping helping of chilies into the pot. The next step did nep blah. The next step is beans. Beans are my specialty, cause we're a bean slinger. Hell yeah. We conjure up some pintos. The mixture of spices and beans is bubbling merrily. Now for the final ingredient, a gun. No! <laughs> we don't want a gun in there. That's that's not what we're supposed to do. No gun! You, res you restrain yourself from adding a gun. Step back and admire your handiwork. It's not according to Hoyle Chili, because it doesn't have a gun in it. But it is a chili with no gun in it. Which is the thing you were after? We got an item! <laughs> Chilis and pistols! Pistoles! <laughs> chili without guns. <laughs> Finally! I got your... Alright, I'm back! I've got a bowl of 100% gun-free chili right here. Thank you- oh my gosh! Thank you so- Oh, is something wrong? Well see, I can only eat ghost food. How do I- Do you need me to murder this chili for you? Not to put too fine a point on it, but yes. Alright, <laughs> I guess I'll try and find a humane way to do that? How do we murder chili? <laughs> How do we... Can we... Florence, help. What's the skinny compadre? Um... Okay. We need to ask her about the gun last stream. We when we did uh, some cooking. How do we murder the chili? We there's nothing else in here that we need. Lard pantry. Oh yeah, that dude wants pants but with no no legs. So basically a skirt. I don't want to go in the foyer. How do we murder the chili? Oh, we got a photo of the artist. We did need that too for the kitchen for him. Well, hello there, General Kenobi. 
<laughs> oh wait, is my door closed all the way? Nope, it is not. Hold on, one second. I'm gonna close the door really quickly. <laughs> Alright. I am so sorry about that. I am back. Hopefully. Am I correctly there? Alright. Cool. <laughs> back to Wester Loathing. I got, um, I found an old photo for you, Mr. Lard dude. Found an old photo. That actually looks like you. Here. Ah, marvelous. What a resemblance. Yeah, it's a pretty decent pick. Good thing light travels faster than bullets. Now my image will not be lost to the ravages of time. Merci beaucoup, my friend. He hangs the photo in the window and dissipates into nothingness. Off we design. <laughs> That's a completely different language. <laughs> Cans. Well, <laughs> that's just him now. We've already been in the pantry, which is a pantry full of pants, which I love that so much. Um, I think we go to the second floor because we're trying to figure out how to murder Chili. Um, we helped her with the button for the first, third floor. Um, how to murder Chili. <laughs> Something off so. Um, let's see. L vibrato? Pretty sure that isn't right. Yeah. Leave the dictionary. And she wants, um, how did you die? I was caught in the crossfire in a library shootout. Wow, what happened? A pair of ruffians got into a heated argument over the comparative merits of Anton Chekhov versus Henrik Ibsen, and when they started shooting, I attempted to step in and stop them. I simply won't ag abide gunfire in my library. It's far too loud. What was their point? I don't recall the particulars. I just remember the Shekhov fan shouting, Remember that gun I showed you in Act 1? Before opening fire. The noise was dreadful. That's your only objection? The noise? That's quite sufficient. I won't tolerate noise of any stripe and certainly not gunfire. I'll see what I can do. Boo. Um... For a book on the specific titles. If you find a book on a similar topic to what we're looking for. But what are we even looking for? We found the booze. And the statue dude. That implies. And she's a lawyer. What's your problem anyway? And... We need to learn... We need gun law. Which I guess is a perk? I don't know where you get that from, though. Let's go to the restroom. <laughs> oh wait, we've already been here. Um, guest rooms. Oh, because this is the lady with the B&B &B for some reason. She needs a new eye. Room four. Oh, hey now! Sorry, dear, but I can't go wandering in there. What's in there? A tenant. They paid for the room. Seemed a quiet private sort, but so I won't have you disturbing them. Aw, fine. 
Okay, so we gotta go in there through the safe passageway. This armoire is bigger on the inside than it is through the outside. Then we go through it, and now we're in the fourth room. Oh, signed stuff for our friend. This plant was planted here as false evidence. <laughs> oh dear. Hello there. Are you here to laugh at me? Oh, thank you so much for redeeming water, Nurxius. Thank you. Huh? Not at all. Are you here to laugh at me? Huh? No, not at all. I wouldn't do that. No, of course you wouldn't. Nobody ever laughs. I never made a single person laugh in my entire career. That's a left turn I wasn't expecting. What was your career? I used to design gags and novelties, but I was terrible at my job. I couldn't come up with a single novel idea. This conversation seems oddly familiar. See? Even my presence is unoriginal. You're just being too hard on yourself. I bet you invented all kinds of good stuff. My best inv invention was fake, fake vomit. Uh, it looks like fake vomit, but surprise, it's real. <laughs> that was the one that got me fired. What other novelties did you invent? You must have had one good one. Well, I invented a can of mix mixed nuts that has a spring in it. So when you open it, the nuts spray out everywhere. That's kind of funny. Nobody would ever open the can because how it said deadly venomous snakes on the label. You know those flowers you wear in your lapel and sprays water in someone else's face and they smell it? You invented it? That's a classic! No, I tried to combine with the chewing gum made out of hot peppers. You invented a boutonniere <laughs> that maces people. Smelly water. <laughs> Im <laughs> Imagine getting maced by flowers. Anything else? <laughs> Smelly water. I think that's just sewage, my dear. <laughs> people seem to like those little sea monkey things. So I thought, maybe I'd do that. Except funnier. And then I thought, itching powder is pretty funny. <laughs> You made itching powder out of brine shrimp? No, they're aquatic. It wouldn't work. I used spider eggs. Oh my god! Anything else? I tried to make an ultra-realistic stink bomb making pure methane gas. It turns out methane is, it, is actually odorless. Pure methane is actually odorless. That's why- that isn't why farts smell bad. Also, it's extremely flammable! You know those fortune-telling fish, the little cellophane things that curl up in your hand to predict the future? Sure, I don't know how it happened, but mine were always 100% accurate and it was always terrible news! I tried to improve on the classic rubber chicken. <laughs> Let me guess. Not rubber? Good guess. <laughs> Anything else? I made some gla- once I made some glasses that let you see through people's clothes. Wow, right down to their skeletons. Huh, that's still pretty cool. Except for the part where they get cancer. Oh no! I told you all the ones I can remember. Okay, don't tell me anymore. Um, uh, how did you die? He was working on a new invention, an exploding cigar. I thought that would be pretty good. You light a cigar and it's fine for a second, but suddenly it goes off with a big bang and he had a jump in surprise and everybody laughs because he nearly had a heart attack. Funny, right? Sure. I hit a snag in development, though. What happened? Well, I figured I would use gunpowder for the explosives and you could already buy it packed into these little brass cartridges that Convenient. Do you mean bullets? My first ten test run was a real mess, I can tell you that, I imagine. So anyway, now I'm a failure and I'm dead. Maybe I can help you out. What do you mean? Well, your initial idea was pretty funny. I guess it's just your execution that was the problem. My execution was the problem? What was his idea? Exploding cigar. Okay. Um, oh, like a firework. Okay. So s something like a firework, like dynamite? 
Do we just give him dynamite? Or that's 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 a war crime. I can't do that. Okay. Leave that poor soul alone. Okay. Um, Florence, I got some doohickeys for you. I found some science-y stuff you like and might like. Ooh, I love science-y junk. Thanks, don't mention it. Holy cow, cow counterclockwise phase inversion coil. I've been looking all over for one of these. Her gun damage has been increased. New skill, science blast. Awesome. Is there a way to look at her skills? Nope. All right. Hmm. I guess we gotta go to the third floor. Formidable tusks. <laughs> I can't tell you about this. Discussion of this object has been tabled. Mr. Gun, Mrs. Gun. Mr. Gun's manliness room. This sofa is tacky, both in terms of style and stuff that has been spilled on it. From the smell of it, Mr. Gunn mostly burned garbage in this thing. It's a humidor full of cheap cigars. Oh! We got three cheap cigars! This guy doesn't notice you're approaching until you're right next to him. He helps in surprise and drops his glass on the floor, then squints unsteadily at you. Then he takes a maraschino cherry from a bowl on the bar cart and throws it at your head. Hey, stop that. Haha. <laughs> Sorry, just making sure you're not one of them ghosts. He drops another cherry into a fresh glass and pours a lot of whiskey on top of it. Are you one of the museum employees? Mm-hmm. Yep, that's me. What are you doing in here? Hiding. I don't know if you didn't notice, but this house? This house? This house got ghosts. You don't say. Whole bunch of them. I'm staying over here, where it's nice and drunk. I mean, safe. Wouldn't you rather get out? Now the booze. Ah, uh, that is booze. Ah! Boo. <laughs> um, I'm really scared of when ghosts go boo, <laughs> you know? They'll get me if I leave this room. There aren't any ghosts between this room and the exit. So you say. Said. That's what you said. But they're ghosts. They could be anywhere. Except in here? Exactly. I'm not leaving without a guarantee that those ghosts won't grab me on the way out. We could disguise you. Alright, as a ghost, they won't bother you. Um. But, um. Uh, eye holes. There's no holes for my eyes. I won't be able to see. I'm starting to think you don't actually want to leave. No, I want to give you that idea. It's terrible in here. I'm going to shoot some holes in the curtain. Oh, jeez, I get the picture. <laughs> wow. We got Manly's finest cotton candy schnapps. Bowling is good. Bowling is good. Getting some bowlings. This is where the bowling balls would come out. Fix some- No! No, wait, shit, shit, shit! I don't want to fight it. Oh. Um. Uh. Uh. Can I surrender? Oh, I passed out. <laughs> and I went back to the... I went back to the original game. Whoops. Back to Gun Manor. Ooh, they had their own custom stagecoaches. Okay. Wrong room. Back to level three. <gasps> I like that they're just- they don't even acknowledge that time passed. Okay. I did not want to fight the... Boltergeist. Don't want to fight. Do I have to f Oh, I have to fight it. I don't want to fight it. <gasps> what is that? Wow. You hope you never meet a live duck this big. Yeah. Um, I sure hope not. 
It's sickening. Sickening. Killing a helpless sofa and stuffing its carcass as a grisly trophy. One of this moose's eye is this loose. Oh, that's for the lady. Life ain't easy for a one-eyed moose. This is just the head of a teddy bear. They didn't even remove the tag. So many polyesters died just to decorate rooms like this. These antlers are made. Um, is that a goblin? Boo! Haha, <laughs> pretty good I am to getting you, huh, human? Oh my god! Ah, oh, wow, yes, very much to getting me. Nice! What is did happening to you? Not the goblin! Did Mr. Gun hunting you and cutting head off? No, no, Mr. Gun, a good human man and being very friends. Inside one of his bowling ball bags, my sports are growing. Only headroom. Mr. Gun to finding me and hanging me up here for ch for to chatting with. Great guy. Wow, weird. Okay. So popping happened in bag. I love the humming! That's so cute! Whole rack of bowling trophies. If there were billiards trophies, there'd be an easier pun to make. Ta tables covered knife marks. This is just a photograph of a fish. Mr. Gunn was apparently really liberal with his definition of trophy. You can tell this is fake because it isn't floating around the room setting stuff on fire. You make small talk with the goblin for a bit. They're pretty cool. I love the goblin. A strange game. The only win way to win is repeatedly stabbing your opponent in the hand. This ghost is dressed up as a traditional safari, yeah. safari hunter with a pith helmet, a big white mustache, and those weird khaki trousers that make it look like, it look like your butt has wings. <laughs> He's inspecting Mr. Gunn's trophy collection, but doesn't seem particularly impressed. Hi. Huh? Oh, charmed, I'm sure. Lord Houston Cadminton, at your service. What happened to you, if you don't mind my asking? Oh, no, not at all. This isn't a very exciting story. Eh, hey, what? I was hunting lions on the plains of the Sparing Getty, and one of the blighters got the better of me. Wow, you were eaten by a lion? That sounds pretty exciting to me. Yes, well, not as much. Sneaky, bu sneaky bugger crept into camp and pushed a stack of ammunition um, crates pull over on me. Oh, maybe I can help? We'll help you with whatever's that's keeping you as a ghost, though. Now I say it, I guess there isn't. You keep accidentally pausing. Oh, no worries. <laughs> there isn't much I can do to help you get revenge on that lion, probably. Oh, no, no. It isn't revenge that's keeping me here. Good for that lion, I say. Turns about his fair play and all that, eh, what? Though I do wish he'd do it in, done it in a manner that made for a better story. Uh, so, why are you a ghost then? It's because of my one true regret. I never faced the most dangerous game. I am definitely not going to help you hunt people. What? No, no, no. The most dangerous board game. Jumanji? Uh, 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 Jumanji? Is, is that what he's, is, is that what he's saying? Nobody was ever willing to play against me. A bally shame, eh? What? What's the game? Check, uh, checkers? Knife checkers. Oh! Oh! What are the rules? Do you know how to play checkers? Yes. Do you know how to stab someone in the hand with a knife? Yes. That's all you need to know, really. Alright, I'll play. Um... The rules are you may only attack your opponent's hands and only when they are over the board. Displaced checkers are played from when they land, but attacking the board directly is a foul which awards the opponent a stab free turn. Per appears to be. Pre appears to be a primarily a game of concentration, quick movements, and fainting. Let's play carefully. Oh, he knifes. Dang. So I have to I have to use my things. Alright. Let's play knife checkers. Play aggressively. We start the game by attacking fiercely quickly and fiercely to establish dominance and keep my opponent from developing his pieces. 
The strategy is somewhat effective, but he doesn't scare easily and manages to faint a few pieces past my guard. We enter the mid-game more or less evenly matched. Play intelligently. We focus more on the techers and our knife work, maneuvering into position for some big gains in the long term. We suffer a few minor nicks and cuts, but are well positioned for the end game. Play craftily. He spots a hole in one of our defenses. He feints left and then quickly slides one of his pieces into the gap and into our trap. This moves his hand ju into just the position he needs to attack with a hard downward stab. He easily yanks his hand out of the way and my knife hits one of my pieces on its edge, flipping it across the board to land neatly in his back rank. King me. I say, it's a foul to attack the board. Sure, but I wasn't, was I? I attacked your hand and you dodged, that's all. You sneaky blighter. Alright, I concede. Oh, we clean up very quickly. Marvelous play, eh? What? Well done. He fades into nothingness. Woo! Cool. I guess we don't have to deal with this room anymore. I don't want to fight the bowling ghost. <gasps> Spittoon! Spittoon! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give oh boy! Yeah! Come to Papa! What are you doing? Uh... Nothing. What are you doing? Looking at someone who's, uh, kneeling next to a spittoon with the apparent intention of sticking their whole entire face inside it? <laughs> I'm gonna dive in! I jam my hand into the spittoon. <laughs> I got achievement unrequited! <laughs> I jam my hand in the spittoon up to the shoulder and find nothing. The breast bucket is shiny and clean outside and in, clean as the day it was born. The museum staff must have washed it. It looks brand new. Are you crying? No, I'm fine. You're crying. Okay, I'll just be over here whenever you're done lying on the ground in a fetal position and hugging the spittoon. <laughs> fine. Oh my god, we got nothing from the spittoon! No! I'm gonna grab a billiard. Looks comfy. Too bad you're too busy to sit down. This end table bears the scars of many uncoastered beverages. <gasps> there's... Oh, it's shiny because there's nothing in the spittoon. You are... You are a disgrace, spittoon. I, I wear... I wear my spittoon hat at you. Where's my- where is it? Where's my spittoon hat? There we go. I bite my thumb at you! Meh! You stupid spittoon! Sp I Wait, I don't want to spit on my computer. I'm not supposed to spit on the computer. <laughs> stupid! Stupid! I love billiards. This is the biggest and dumbest poster I've ever seen. There's a trap door in the ceiling over here. Too bad you aren't like 11 feet tall. Hey there, how's it going? I ain't just in chit chat, just billiards. Step up or shut up. <laughs> Balls! <laughs> Balls. Challenge him to a game. He trounces so you can't seem to make the balls go where intended. That was the saddest showing I've ever seen. Let me see that cue. Yeah, that's your problem. That thing's about as straight as a banker's hang shape. You're gonna need to lave this back to true if you want a chance against me. Lathe? Hmm. Where did we hear lathe before? Okay, so I guess we have to fight the... We have to fight this. Fine. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing! We got a bowling ball chunk! That is... Deals damage equal to my month. Oh my god. That must be good, right? So my muscle's 49. Oh, I can just... Th oh, I can't equip it. I can only... Oh. So I could only use it, like, once. That's stupid. Let me reset. Big red buttons lit up. Press it. Oh! <gasps> Oh, it's another- Oh, can I form a whole bowling ball? Bowling 
Pull a championship ring. This must be stuck in one of the finger holes. I, what, what happens? I want to see all the things. Bowling shirt name tag. It says Dan, but that's okay because you're wearing it ironically. <laughs> Fight. Blast. Bowling pin. What does... <laughs> Carrying this around will save you the trouble of hurling your enemies all the way down a bowling lane and hit them with it. Hooray! I want to get all of the things. Bowling ball hat! <laughs> this bowling ball fractured in an unlikely but convenient way. <laughs> Fight it again. Okay, so now it's just the same thing over again. Oh god. Oh good! The XR85 is complete trash. <laughs> oh, these people are rich. Okay, so that's what that does. We've already been in here. That's the trophy room. What's in here? The billiards room. Okay. Oh yeah, I, I remember now. So we need to lave stuff. Mrs. Gun. The door is locked and no earthly force can open it. Well, maybe a whole team of horses, but good luck getting them up the elevator. Knock, knock. Who? Yes, who is it? Mrs. Gun, I'm Iris. Ah, uh, are you with the ghost extermination people? Yes, ma'am. Florence Cunningham, Cunningham Ghost Annihilation Services. Iris is my assistant. I'm your what? Who's the county licensed ghost hunter here? Me or you? Okay, fine, I guess. Have you been able to exterminate? Hmm? Oh, thank you. Can you turn on my light, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just got my capture card! Ah! Awesome! Um... I'm gonna set this up after our stream is done. Um... Also... Um... We'll stream for a little bit- Yo! I'm so happy! It looks- I've not opened it yet, but it looks really fancy. Wow, holy moly. I was not expecting to get it this soon. Um... That's very awesome! I'm extremely excited. <laughs> wow. Um, thank you so much. Shout out to my mom and dad for getting the capture card for my birthday. Um, <laughs> speak, which my birthday is on Sunday. <laughs> I've said that like a bunch already, but yeah. Um, we're still working on these ghosts. There's 10 of them left. Okay, we will do. Okay, so we can't go in there. There's a music room. The sunflower was enchanted to not need natural light, so now it's an unflower. Let's go in the music room. Oh, dueling banjos? Can we... There's a library call number written on the spine. This is a bassoon! <laughs> you know what they say! It makes an ass out of N and... And what? Boo! <gasps> <laughs> you always hated these things. This lady doesn't seem to be interested other than cranking the hurdy gurdy. He Boo! Ah! <laughs> ah! Spooky, spooky. You definitely disconnect the crank from the hurdy gurdy without alerting the woman's attention. But it turns out you need to have bothered. She continues to turn the crank, blank eyed, even with nothing attached. Hmm. You grab. The end of the crank to pull her very slowly to the gift shop where you find a Victrola to plug her into. Problem solved? She's 
She seems just as happy as she here as she was before. Must be nice to have a following. Oh, there's more people here now. Thanks for rescuing the hedge maze. Hi. I've never asked you what you do here, but I've already forgotten. Um, it can stamp the tokens. It smashes. Okay. Sure. What picture do you want? I want a magical rifle. Cool. Oh, this it's an offhand thing. Oh, that's cool. Somewhat longer, thinner. Uh, no thanks. We'll come back to that later, I guess. Do, do, do. I'm so excited about the, uh, capture card. Nothing here left. Ooh, sheet music on the- I can play song? Hmm, I can't play dual ba dueling banjos by myself, but I don't have enough arms. Florence? Sorry, I only play the bagpipe. Oh, that's a reference to the, um, that one movie. Um, my dad told me about it, where they, they're dueling banjos. The, oh my god, my dad literally just told me about this at one time. Um, if it's, I only play the bagpipe and not very well. If it's a bagpipe, how do you know? How about you, Gary? Hello? Hello what? Do you know how to play the piano? What? It is having so many square teeth. Okay, never mind. Oh. Oh my. Um, he's very orchestra conductor. Unless he's a ghost of someone pretending to be an orchestra conductor. Either he's very agitated about something or he's conducting Flight of the Bumblebee. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, thank you so much for the stretch break, Dr. Sunshine is. Let me stretch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And... I go back in the chair! Uh, arm circles. I'll start talking to him. Sorry to interrupt, but I can't actually hear the music. What are you conducting? It is the finale of the year, 1812 Solemn Overture by Tchaikovsky. Oh, the 1812 Overture. That would have been my second guess. Is your orchestra like Double Ghost or something? Ah, uh, what? Oh, I see. There's no orchestra. I merely have this piece of music irrevocably lodged in my head. It has been nagging about me incessantly ever since my death. What happened? Did you die during a performance of the 1812 Overture? That is correct. Very astute of you. And the finale of that piece features real, actual cannons, right? Is that how you died? Oop. Oh, I just see the... <laughs> I got the, the achievement I got for the Spittoon. I loved a Spittoon that didn't love me back in Gun Manor. Only 7% of players have this achievement. Wow. I'm special. Um, it was, if it was my fate to be slain by a piece of music, cannons would have been far preferable to my utterly partial demise. What happened? The overture requires several, can several cannons because it is impossible to load a single can quickly enough to fire as the score demands. However, the stage we were performing on could not have borne the weight. What did you do? I was not informed of the difficulty and two, it was far too late to make any changes. It was transpired that the stage manager decided it would be sufficient to give a box of bullets to it, the tuba player. <laughs> the tuba player, what? Oh, thank you so much for the water, Rexius. Water, yeah. You were shot by a tuba? I was shot. As you say, by a tuba. Wow, no wonder you ended up as a ghost. Um, a colleague of mine was decapitated. Oh no, by an errant symbol during Paji pa Paganani's violent. Co <gasps> Antonio! Antonio! That's Antonio's last name in Identity V. Um, I think. Yeah, that's his, la that's his last name, Antonio. Um, violinist, identity V. Oh my god, oh my god! I am- I love Antonio so much. Long-haired man that plays violin, does music. Shiny be live. Hell yeah! That's epic. <laughs> um, 
The problem is that the 1812's overture finale is a very dramatic and energetic piece. With this music constantly playing itself in my head, I have been, ut been un utterly unable to find any peace. I'll see if I can find a way to help. Okay. Um. Wait. Shiny is very cool. Kids rooms. I recognize that music. Wow, that music is creepy. Looks like this is why it, where the creepy music is coming from. Transcribe it. Spooky lullaby sheet music. The teddy bear has been comprehensively and enthusiastically disemboweled. Oh, hey. <gasps> oh! The stuffing for the silencer. Sorry, Teddy, this is for the greater good. This composition of this painting is bad in every way. It's full of baby supplies that you don't understand, like burping scissors and uh, nursing blankets. Oh. Didn't the dude need the, uh... Here, I have some sheet music for you. Oh, no. Okay. Wait, can I play the sh sh spooky sheet? Play the lullaby. Oh, he's going slower! Wow, I didn't know I could play the piano. I mean, I used to play piano. Wow. Well, that was nice. Soothing. Oh, I don't, I don't, I didn't get, I wanted the thing. Um, it's a blank chalkboard, write something. <laughs> Monster, why would you write this? <laughs> I did the boo this time! Ooh, toddler's room. It's a toy box. Who knows what horrors it contains? Let's find out! I got a stuffed gun! <laughs> Some wind blocks with letters that play with them. Boo! <laughs> I love the boos. This is more of a three and a half poster bed. Oh my god, it's the doll! This little girl ghost is serving imaginary tea to her, her guests. The doll, while terrifying, is largely indifferent. Museum employee, on the other hand, is playing, around, playing along with a rictus grin on, her fa on his face. The little girl wears an annoyed and disappointed frown. Can I join your tea party? If you want. It's a terrible tea party. Ah, what's wrong? You aren't having any fun? All I have is dumb and made up tea. I want a proper tea party like Mama took me to. Tell me more about this party. We went to a real tea room. It was so pretty. There are vases with flowers in them, and everyone was all dressed up in suits and pretty dresses, and there are white china teacups for the tea. Real tea, not imaginary. That sounds very nice. It was. I was so nice, and everyone is so polite and charming and elegant. Well, until the fight started, anyways. Uh-oh. There was a fight? Well... Two of the gentlemen there got into an argument. I don't know what it was about, but I guess one said something the other one didn't like, and he was so insulted that he threw his tea right in the first man's face. And then they took out guns and started shooting at each other, right there in the tea room. Whoa! They were still really elegant, though. They had little silver and ivory pistols, and they kept their pinkies out the whole time. Anyway, I don't remember the rest very well, except one of them missed the other and shot me by mistake. I'm so sorry. Thanks, but it's alright. <gasps> I could use the goblin of blood! Oh no! Um. I'm very tempted to see what the goblin of blood does, but I'm not. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, help! Mm, sorry, I can't understand you. Bye! Okay. Um, we... I know where exactly where some tea is. Uh, first floor. We gotta go to Hedge Garden, because there was one thing we missed there. 
and then we're going to do the tea and then um i think we're going to end the stream uh because i want to write my um awesome mutual wait that's not the one i wanted to go in i wanted to go out let me out huh i'm out here again i guess oh thank you so much for the water nerxius backup gun manner um uh, drink the water Yes, 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 yes. Because we want to raid my friend Thquib. Oh, we got a tea service with tea leaves. Nice. Um, okay. I'm just going to take the shortcut. Through the coal. <laughs> Thquib is a very awesome uh, person. Uh, it makes... Um, music on the TikTok, and I enjoy its music a lot. So we're gonna go raid it after this stream, or raid it when we're done. Um, I did find some real tea. Oh, not yet. Um, leave him. Do we need to put water in it? Where can we find a kettle? Oh my. It's a doll mine. How adorable. Look at all the little miners and mine carts and mine shafts and bowls of mine minestrone. What's it? A tiny stick of dynamite! Can we examine it? What if we stuck this into one of the cigars we found? Yeah, what if that? We got an exploding cigar. Hilarious. Gun manor tween room. Daniel Boone. What's behind it? <gasps> oh, I got it in <laughs> I got an achievement quaking in my boots! I see myself up a little. Someone has been slacking on their geometry homework. Do it for them. I got the geometry textbook. Rufus would probably understand this, but you sure as hell don't. Ooh, science doohickeys. Yes. Oh, we got a plaid skirt! For the, the dude with no legs. Fun law. Rules for parlor games. Can I read it? I flip through the book. On ah, unsurprisingly, it's mostly about ways for children can stay out of their parents' hair for like just five damn minutes. It has a little tag on the spine, and it came came from the mansion library. Okay, all I need is some boiling water. What's in the what's the devil's music? Turn it off. Aw, I like the music. Okay. Um, where's water? Oh, first floor, I think? Does the kitchen have a kettle? No? Where the fuck is a kettle? I found your pants. Your skirt. How about the skirt? Look, I understand that generalization of clothing maybe shouldn't be a thing, but I'm kind of old-fashioned. Er, did I say skirt? I meant kilt. What's a kilt? It's a special kind of foreign legless pants. For men. Here, try it. Hey, the ghost tries on the sk- I mean kilt. Hey, that's really nice. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Awesome. Um, I'm going to end it here. Let's go back to dirt water. <laughs> go back to the coach. Go back to the co- okay, fine. Go back to dirt water.